I'm building this modular hexagonal 3D terrain set for my gaming table, and I'm trying to do it without painting, flocking, or 3D printing anything. I decided I really wanted the streams to be recessed into the game table as you see here. Doesn't it look great? It's a choice I'm glad I made because it really does add something extra to the table. In this video, I'll show you how I made them. All right, let's talk about what's going on with these streams, because originally I really wanted to recess the streams into the play field. That way they would be below the level of the flat uh, table or the main play field of the table. But as I was uh, working the other day, I thought, oh, let's just go ahead and do them flat. It'll be fine. It'll be faster and it'll be easier. And it certainly would be. But then as I got into the project, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be happy with that. I really want the streams to be recessed. I've wanted to do that for a long time. This is the opportunity to do it, so I might as well make it happen. So I decided I'm returning to that idea, even though it's going to take a little bit more effort. So in order to do that, what I did is I went to the computer and I made in Illustrator a file of hexagons that are exactly this size, that fit the Terra tiles like this. And then I had them laser cut out of just cardboard. This is just standard cardboard. I sent them off to a laser cutting service and I just said, hey, I need a whole bunch of different uh, uh, cardboard hexagons of this size. And so they sent them to me. And this did actually make it easier. It took more time. It took a few days for them to get here, but it saved me the time of having to try to cut thin sheets of styrofoam in perfect hexagonal shape. This was easy. And I think this even though it took a few days to get here, now it should be really easy to actually make this happen. So this right here is an example of a standard height tile for the table. It's one terra tile on a sheet of styrofoam here, one of these styrofoam risers. So that's how high the main play field of the table is. So I've got these different uh, hexagons here of the wood, of, of the uh, cardboard, and we're going to see how many of them it takes to equal that height. And unfortunately, I didn't have a whole lot of options as far as thicknesses of cardboard go. That's pretty close. I think that's what I was expecting. That's four. Let's see, that's four hexagons. And it makes this a little bit taller than this. That's probably okay. I think that's better than this. It makes it a little bit lower. Actually, a little bit lower might be better because then you've got at least a subtle change of elevation as you go down to a tile with a stream on it. I think from the looks, that will look better than having the stream tiles be slightly higher. Ideally, I would like for them to all be the same. I wonder if there's something else that I've got that would bring this up to exactly that level. Let me look. Here is some 2 millimeter black craft foam, and this might actually do it. Uh, that's not quite dead on, but I mean, that is pretty close. That's probably better, because if you're moving miniatures you know, and especially army units across the board, uh, I don't like really having that lip there. I wonder if two of them would do it. Well, that's almost exact. Now, that does additionally complicate this project because now I've got to cut out these hexagons out of this craft foam. But it's probably easier to do that than cut out the styrofoam hexagons. In fact, I know it would. So basically, we've got to have three of our cardboard hexagons, two layers of our foam, and then a terra tile on top of it in order to make these match. Now, the next question we've got to answer is how deep do we want the stream to be? Because we'll probably sandwich... See, an easy way to do it, perhaps, would be to sandwich these two layers of foam here between those two, glue those together like a sandwich, and then cut into this piece, and then that would mean that there's this, uh, basically, well, not quite of a third of an inch, drop down before you get to the stream. And that would make it just a, a slightly incised stream. We could go even further, though, and make it two levels deep inside stream. And I kind of think that we should do that because since we're going to all this trouble to do this anyway, we might as well really exaggerate the depth of the stream. If we just go the one layer deep, uh, it'll have the look, but you know, we're going to all this trouble. So let's go ahead and exaggerate. I think that's what we should do. Maybe then what we should do is put the foam underneath that. Because then we'll glue this piece on there. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the stream here and then glue the sides onto that tile. And that will give us the drop that we want to uh, give us some elevation change with the streams. 
I was trying to think of the most efficient way to do this because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut out the stream here and then the stream is going to go on the lowest level because I still want it to look blue. And in the past when I tried this, I would cut out just this on the scroll saw and then I would take these two pieces and glue them down to the hex tile and then recut them. But that's a little bit slow because I'm having to recut everything and I'd rather not have to do that if I wanted to, if I don't have to rather. So. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces of the cardboard here, and I don't want them to warp with glue, so I do have the spray adhesive here. So I think the process is going to be to use the spray adhesive to get a bunch of different two stacks like this, and then use some tape to just tape this down on top of that, and then do the cutout. And that way I've cut everything out in one pass. I'll have the blue stream loose that can be glued down to the bottom part. And then, but I'll already have this glued together. So hopefully that'll make sense, at least as I'm doing it. So my next step is just to go outside, take the spray adhesive, and put together a bunch of these uh, pieces here. So now that I have this double thick stack of cardboard, I took a loop of just masking tape. I put that on the tile, on the cardboard. And now I can put the terra tile down there. All right, so that's what I need to cut through. So scroll saw back over here. And now let's cut out the stream. Okay, now that's done. I got these two sides here. And then here is the stream part right there. This part here becomes scrap. Remember that our basic stream tile was going to be three layers of cardboard thick. So now that gets glued there, that gets glued there, and that, if this goes well, yep, drops right in there. Okay, that's nice, that's neat, that's fast, and now I've got my incised stream. Okay, now I gotta take uh, the spray mount again, right here, and then I've got to attach that piece because it's not glued down as well as that side and then that all those pieces together that will be one river tile okay check that out that looks very cool and it's very sturdy it's very playable i like it this this looks really good i think and it was quick to make so now i just have to go through and make all of the other ones for the the table but that shouldn't take too long now i've been thinking about how to finish these edges because I could take some masking tape or something like that and uh, go around the edges and then paint it. That way I wouldn't have this, uh, this cardboard edge. But, you know, it, it doesn't really bother me all that much. And once we got a bunch of them stacked up on the table, you're not going to see much of it anyway. So it may not be a problem. Now, one thing that we may want to do is come in here and put some Bondo or filler around here and do some painting there. That's possible, but on the other hand, you may not really see it all that much anyway, and it is brown. So we'll just have to see how it looks on the table. But anyway, that's it. That's a very sturdy stream tile. Now, I think we did have to raise up the tile a little bit with foam on the back, but I'll do that all at once. That's a stream tile. Another thing I'm going to do while I'm outside with the spray mount is go ahead and spray mount these half tiles together on top of the half terra tile, and that way I've got uh, the edges done as well. These will also have to be raised up with foam, but that'll be a nice and easy way to take care of those. I really didn't think about this when I cut these half tiles, even though it should be obvious. The only reason I cut half hexagons with the laser cutter is because there was more room on the pieces of cardboard than I could put whole hexagons on, but I could put in some half hexagons. And so that's why I've got those, but that'll work nicely in order to go ahead and get those done. And uh, that'll look nice. I've got a few more tiles put together, and I'm so excited about this because it is coming together just how I wanted to. I don't have a whole lot of space to show you here on the workshop, so we may have to go up to the uh, gaming room later on, but I'm going to try to show you. By the way, I did find out that the white that was on these cardboard tiles is actually just some, some paper, some masking paper that comes off. So... Check to see if you've got that as well, because if you're gluing this, obviously you wouldn't actually be gluing the tiles together. I thought this was just a white paper that was actually part of the cardboard, but it wasn't. So check for that, because that needs to be removed if it's on your cardboard. Okay, just as an example here, there is that piece, here's that piece, and then here is another curve. See how well those fit together? That looks great. And then I've got these half tiles as well. 
that just go down here or one can go up here. That's looking fantastic. I'm glad I went with the deeper cutout because it looks really good with the extra depth. I know you're looking at it straight down because that's how I've got my camera set up in my workshop. But especially when you're looking at it from a little bit of an angle like you would be at the tabletop, this is looking really good. Now I just have to make more just like that. I now have all of the river pieces for my board cut and they're on three stacks of cardboard. And I really wish that I could just leave them like that, but of course I've got to bring these up to the level of the others on the risers. And this is a step that I really wish I didn't have to do, but based on the way that I've done this so far, I'm going to have to uh, bring these up by two pieces of foam here. And I'm already thinking about how, if I were to do this project over again, how I could do it better, and this would definitely be a part of it. But at the moment, we're just gonna do what we have to do here. And so I'm taking this two millimeter craft foam, and I think the best way to do it is just to cut it into squares like this, and then put a square here, and then I'll put some over here on the edge, because I don't want to try to do a, a hand cut hexagon, because that's what I was trying to avoid anyway on this entire project. And if I get you know, overhangs or whatever else, then I'm going to not have these perfectly cut hexagons line up anymore. So I think that just taking um, a square and then later doing some triangles over here is the way to go. And I think I'll just do it in two different layers so that we've got, uh, you know, one layer and then two, which is our necessary thickness. And it stays away from the edges, but it still should support all of our miniatures just fine. And I'm just going to use uh, white glue on this. Okay, that's how I made these stream tiles, and they look so good. In the next video, we'll go back up to the gaming room and start the main assembly of the table. If you want some Terra tiles for your table, I'm re-releasing them through GameFound. I'll put the link below. Also, please check out the other videos on my channel. I've got a lot more on tabletop gaming, fantasy, and more all organized by playlist. I'll see you in another video.